Today's telecast is being presented live from Los scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And Bricks, we've got some major star sightings today. Oh, look, there's Tom Shanks, and there's Tyler Scary, and oh, oh, that's Jennifer Gorings. Wow, <laughs> are those things real or fake, you think, Grim? Well, if you're talking about those two big chihuahuas she's holding, yep, they look real to me, pal. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Malice Hellboys take on the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works in deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Ah, oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten.
And that'll be second and eight to go. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. down and eight. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Whoa. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down in a lot. He refused. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third and two. Drop him. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten.
And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. And it's first and ten. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. He How'd he take it to the air and pick up a fourth down conversion? Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? He's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third and two. Was it a catch, though? Yeah. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll bring up second and one. Sandwich. And it's first and ten.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a return of the ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. down and six. And Rubber is moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking up field. Yeah, he's taking a psychopath, Grim. Just make it up yourself. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good, Briggs. Thanks. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just pump the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Second down and two. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. But the and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, nice hit. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And they pick up 
up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Lucky finds his head! He'll be okay! The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Second down in, and that'll be their final timeout. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, you know, they're all in politics, apparently. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog thing snags. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> 
Second down in a mile. And that player has one speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. Third down and never going to happen. Chunk of yards on that pass play. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? First and ten. Scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. I don't understand why they're going for it, Grim. This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always punt. Well, tell our viewers what you would do, Bricks. Ah, uh, I don't know. What, what was the question? And that play didn't have a chance. The defense comes up with a big... The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys. Get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Scramble, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. game picking up some steam a gain of seven there third and four
Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic, Bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. He's looking at his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the ten. Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and nine. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grip that cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to... Boom! First and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First down. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a photograph? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. Defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Third down and forever. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their... Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit attack ref. It feels good. They are going for it. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and one. through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. The ball carrier better boom and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. is warming up and he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him unless of course you kill him wow look at that freak go he's unstoppable first down this guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can grim i don't even think he knows what a first down is <laughs> It's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. 
The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second and three. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. With one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Second down and long. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company. Oh, with the punishing hit. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we all win. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The Los Angeles Dams go down in defeat today. And the feet and the hands and the heads are all over the place. It's a massacre, Graham. A massacre. Next time, maybe they'll practice a little harder and cheat a little more. Freaking idiots. This is the NFL. You're supposed to cheat. Won't that be a lesson to them? Let's go over to the MVP. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. 
Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...